everyone in today's video I'm going to use my utensil container and do a geode style pour my main color is going to be pink today and uh, my last two that I did one was purple and one was blue so um, I wanted to try out some pinks and I also have beige pewter and white um, two of my pinks are metallic colors along with the pewter, so I think that'll give it a nice pop of color. And then to also um, change up my design a little bit, I'm going to be using a circle canvas instead of just a normal um, rectangle or square canvas. Each of my colors are mixed with Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water, so they all have a really nice consistency. Um, they're quite a bit thicker than what I normally do for something like a Dutch pour. But I don't want the colors to blend too much with this technique. So I keep the colors a lot thicker. And what I like to do is pour in lines and create um, some lines or striations within my pouring container. And then once you pour that out on your surface, you'll really see those lines on the surface compared to just pouring everything in a cup and then pouring it as like a normal dirty pour. And you can do, um, you know, lines of color wherever you want to. And then when you're tilting, you'll notice that um, they all blend really nicely together. And I really like this pewter, so I'm going to put quite a bit of that in there. And then of course, just like any pour, if you um, pour it out and don't like the way it looks, you can always do, you know, pour your colors in your container again and do another pour um, and really just get a nice variety of colors going. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this out. So as you can see, all my lines of paint in there. And then I'm just gonna pour it out and then we will tilt. And you can pour, ooh, that's gonna look really nice. You can really pour in any style or direction or shape that you want. Um, but this, you can already see like where I pulled out um, you have some really nice lines of color. They've blended slightly, but not too much. I'm just gonna dump the last of this paint over here and that will be tilted off. But even uh, after you've poured, you can still see all those nice lines of color. So this is just why I like using these containers. I got this container from the dollar store. Um, it's literally one that you just stick in a drawer and put your spoons, forks, whatever, in them um, and I've really liked it. So I'm going to start tilting and see what directions we're gonna go. Since I have white paint left, I'm just gonna add a little bit more to help everything move because it is really thick. I think I have enough, I think it'll be fine. And I'm gonna leave it. But this is this is the pattern and the style that I'm going for whenever I do my geode pours and that container just works perfectly for me um, to just get these really nice lines, bands of color. Um, they blend a little bit, but not too much. And then you can definitely control, um, depending on where you put your colors in your container, you can really control how um, the paints will come out. So this is just, as I drip <laughs> in my piece. So this is just one style that I really enjoy and uh, the utensil containers work really, really well for that. So, you know, if you are trying to do this design, just hit up your dollar store and see what you can find. Let's move that back, there we go. I dripped 
a little bit in there and just tilted that right off. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below, especially with my doing a circle canvas this time. The colors were great. Um, let me know if you want to see some different color palettes with this technique. I really enjoy doing it. I always like the way that these turn out. But I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and you can hit that bell notification. I do put out three videos a week right now and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching today.